everyone, welcome to weekly vlog 113. I am <coughs> not very well. Typical. Um, I think I said at the end of the last weekly vlog that I wasn't feeling good. So it's actually Thursday. Um, if you watched last week, you'll know that Monday and Tuesday kind of went into last week's. Oh wow, talking hurts. Um, and then yesterday was Wednesday, obviously. And I had the world's worst migraine. I haven't had one like that for a while. My nana actually came and picked Toby up yesterday. So I've been looking after my nana's dog, Toby. And when she came over, I asked her if she'd bring some of her migraine tablets. I get subscribed the same one prescribed. Prescribed the same migraine tablets from the doctor, but I didn't have any left. So she kindly gave me two of her migraine tablets and thank goodness she did. I don't know what I would have done without them. It was a really bad headache. I lay on the sofa all day yesterday, so I apologize I didn't record, but my headache is gone today. So yay, no headache. I feel really ill though. I don't know if I'm just run down or if I've got a cold, but when my throat goes, it's normally what happens first with my ME, so chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, my chronic fatigue's been really good lately. Um, I've been managing to do a lot more. I think going to the gym has definitely like upped my um, kind of energy levels. Hope you've all had a great week. Hope you are all well and hope autumn is going well for you. I love this time of year. So apart from not feeling great, everything else is fine. <laughs> so you can probably see behind me, I have studio lighting set up. I am recording a video downstairs today. Tomorrow I need two videos done for another brand and then Saturday I am going to be editing all day because all of these videos are due for Monday since I had yesterday off. Um, so Sunday I am going to have Sunday off hopefully if I get all this work done but it's a very working week so I thought what we would do is turn this weekly vlog into a bit of a haul video. I have a lot of Disney stuff at the minute and I did a Primark haul, a uh, Primark shop when I was in Manchester so I thought rather than like giving myself extra work and recording a Primark haul and a Disney haul I'm just gonna stick them in this weekly vlog and make it a bit interesting so I have a box of Disney stuff that I ordered last Friday and I have the stuff I bought from Manchester from Primark and I have two things that I bought while I was in London which are both Disney and <laughs> I think I spoke about this at the end of last week's weekly vlog. I think I did. I said I got an email which was possibly one of the most exciting emails I have ever gotten ever as a blogger and it just arrived. So I have to open it up. Like I need to. I don't care that I need to record right now. I have to open this up. Uh, this is so exciting. I don't know what is in here. I just know it's to do with Descendants. <laughs> so we're just gonna turn this weekly vlog into a nice big Disney slash Primark haul. Hopefully that's okay. It'll probably cheer me up as well because I'm just not feeling good. Hopefully I'll still have some throat left, some throat left, some voice left to record the videos I actually need to record. But yeah, so let's do a bit of a haul. Let's pick ourselves up. Basically, I got an email from Disney saying that they know that I'm a huge Descendants fan and they wanted to send me out some Descendants goodies. Can you see now why it was possibly the best email I have ever received? Uh, yeah, you guys know that I love Descendants. If you don't, I love Descendants. Like Descendants is like, probably is up there with my top 10 favorite things in life ever. Like I love Descendants, like I absolutely adore it. So they emailed me and were like, would you like some Descendants goodies? Because the new Descendants 3 movie is out tomorrow in the UK. So when you watch this, it's already up. What did you guys think of it? Did you like it? Obviously I can't tell you yet if I liked it because it's tomorrow. I don't know what's in here. I'm guessing it's stuff from Disney Store and the new Descendants stuff. So honestly, I am grateful for absolutely anything they send me. Like I just can't believe that they emailed me and asked me if I wanted some Descendants goodies. I was like, what? The fact that they know that I love Descendants as well, just, it sounds stupid, but it just means a lot. We're gonna pan you down a little bit and we are gonna open this box from Disney. <sighs> also, I'd just like to point out, when I got the email asking if I wanted Descendants stuff, I actually cried. I'm not joking, I cried. Like there was tears and everything. Email came through and it said Descendants in the description. I was like, and I read it and I cried. Like I messaged Matthew straight away. I was like, oh my God, they know I like Descendants, so. I cried, so this is a big deal for me. Like, this is like unreal. So I'll just pan you down a little bit and we will open this up. I'm gonna pull my dress out first. So I've just took my dress off the front and there's a label. Can you see that? It says, Descendants 3, Spellbooks Mailer, Quantity 1. 
Oh, I don't really know what that means. So let's get this over. Oh my God, I'm so excited. My throat really hurts. I'm so excited right now. I'm not really sure how it opens. It doesn't look like it opens. It looks like it just opens at the side. So I'm just gonna open the side. So I have no idea what's in here. What? What is this? Okay, look what I can see. It looks like a giant spell book, which explains spell books mailer. <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna cry. This is this is unreal. This is like, what is this? What is this? <gasps> no! Oh my god, don't cry. <gasps> Oh my god, it's a giant. I'll just make sure there's nothing in there. It's a giant. Oh my god, look. Oh, it's a giant mal, mal spell, well, Maleficent spell book. I'm going to come around this side because I'm right handed. Oh, what is life? Okay, I didn't expect this. Oh. I'm sorry about the noises, but this is everything. I can't believe they sent me this. Don't cry. Okay, I'm going to open it up. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, this makes me so happy. This is the best thing I've ever, ever, ever been sent, ever. <gasps> Breathe. Breathe. Okay. Whew. Are you ready? Hi, Sarah. To celebrate the launch of Descendants 3 this bright this Friday, we have put together a little package of goodies. We have also included an invitation to the Braid Bar to get a special Disney Descendants, sorry, a special D3 themed braid done in Selfridges in London. I'm okay. We hope you love them, Disney UK comes to you. Oh my God. Oh my God, are you kidding me right now? I get to get my hair made like a Descendants person. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna cry. Hashtag Descendants 3, uh, Disney Channel UK. Uh, we hope you love them, Disney UK comms team. <gasps> okay. Um, I'm already ridiculously grateful and happy right now. Oh, there's actual tears. Calm down, Sarah. Um, wow, so let's just pull things out. <laughs> so this, as far as I'm aware, is Audrey's little book. I seen this in the Disney store and I was like, I need it, but I was trying to be good. <gasps> it looks like Sleeping Beauty's like book from the beginning of our movie. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. I'm okay. I'm okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, wow. Oh, and it's got Audrey. I actually didn't get a chance to look inside it. Oh, it's got Audrey on the side. Uh, so this is in Disney store and it's eight pounds. That's actually really good. Oh, it feels nice. Oh, I'm so happy right now. So that's what the little book looks like inside. It's got Audrey in. Oh, I'm so excited to see them. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, wow, thank you so much. I'm like shaking a little bit. What the heck? Okay. Ah! Descendants 3 Disney Channel and the Braid Bar invite you. <gasps> oh my God, this is amazing. To celebrate the premiere month of the much anticipated Disney Channel original movie, we're inviting you to come and get your hair styled at the Braid Bar this Queen of Mean Halloween. In partnership with the Braid Bar, we have created six Disney themed braids based on all of your favourite characters. Uh, so now until the 5th of November, I have to get this done. I was just there at the weekend. That would have been so handy. Uh, I will make sure that I go and get this done. I'm pretty sure I'm going down to Comic Con, so hopefully I'll be able to get it done there. <laughs> so I'm going to cover like the details, but you can get Uma. Oh, I kind of want Uma. You can get Uma, Carlos, Audrey, G, Evie, and Mal. I'll be honest, my hair is not very long. So all of these are long hairstyles apart from Carlos and Jay. Um, so we'll have to see which one they can, they can do in my hair. Like I'd, ha I'd be happy with any, but I'm just gonna show you the different hairstyles that you can get while you're there. Can you see that? Ooh. I mean, obviously I'd like the mal, but um, yeah, I don't know if my hair's long enough. Uh, Umas would be really cool, like all over braids. We'll have to see which one I can get. I'll be happy for any. Oh, look what's in the box. 
I seen this in Disney store and I was like, I really shouldn't because I need to pay off Disney World. But look what they sent me. This is this is the best thing ever. This is the best thing ever. They have sent me the Descendants backpack. I mean, if ever there was a perfect bag for me, it is this one right here. Oh, I'm so happy. So it's kind of got like Miles colours, Evie, Uma, all the girls. Yes. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is nice. Uh, so this is £20. Actually, that's really good. This is £20 in Disney Store at the minute. Um, it zips down. This is amazing. This is like unbelievable. I, I'm so grateful right now. It's actually quite big inside as well. That's pretty cool. Oh, thank you so much, Disney. I'm so happy right now. Um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just in shock. I mean, I'm gonna use this bag every day for everything. I don't care where I'm going. I'll just make sure that there's not. Look at this box. Can we just talk about this box? What can I store in this box? I need to keep this box forever. Look at this box. Look at it. Born a villain kid, if you care. This is the best thing I've ever seen. Oh my God, look at it. I'm so happy. Oh, it's even on the back. Oh, mm, my giant book. Oh, I don't even know like if you can buy this or what, but this is amazing. Look. Oh, thank you so much, Disney UK. I honestly just feel like I could cry, but I best not because I've got a stuffy nose and I'll just make myself feel worse. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, I'm going to put this tinsel back in before it goes all over. I need to think of something so that I can use this. Or I might just display it. I need to rearrange my Disney shelves in my office. So I might just display this. I'm so happy right now. I am so happy right now. Um, yeah. So there we go. Thank you so much, Disney UK, Disney UK comms team. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, this is amazing. This is the best thing ever. So thank you so much for that. I am unbelievably grateful. Super, super grateful. Um, yeah, I just, I can't believe it. And then the Audrey book as well is just perfect. So I am the world's grateful, most, most grateful person in the world right now. Thank you so much. I'm just going to put it there so it's like in shot. Yes! I'm just gonna put that there so you can see it. Yeah. Oh my god. Amazing, 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 amazing. Thank you so much to the Disney comms team. Thank you so much for that. I can't stop saying that, but thank you so, so, so much. You, like, I can't, ex like, honestly, Descendants means everything to me, so to be gifted that on possibly the last movie is just, like, such... An achievement as a blogger I am super grateful and will forever just hold this as a such a huge achievement for me like I know that might sound silly like I've done a lot of cool things as a blogger but being recognized as a Descendants fan as a blogger and being gifted this stuff is just like wow I'm very very grateful like super grateful so Moving on, um, I will show you the shoes that I bought while I was in London. So if you didn't already follow along on my Instagram, I bought some, well, I actually showed you these in my weekly vlog last week, but I don't think I showed you which ones I got. Oh man, I am like full of cold right now. It's definitely a cold, it's going into my head. <laughs> anyway, so I know I tried on the black and the white, but I wanted the black ones. I think Matthew preferred the white ones. But um, I just preferred the black ones. I was like, these are going to go with everything. And I think they're a little bit more like, from the front, they will literally go with anything. And then at the side, it was more like obvious Disney. I love how you can see that Descendants book there. <laughs> yeah, with the white ones, it was more of an all over pattern. Hopefully you've seen my weekly vlog last week. And I just feel like from a distance, you couldn't really tell that was Disney as much as that. So that is Minnie on the side of that shoe. And that is Mickey on the side of that shoe. I just think they're amazing. I absolutely adore them. And yeah, these were supposed to be 75. So these were actually the display ones. So they've still got the display sticker underneath. They were the last ones. Like they sold out online, they sold out in store. I am so lucky that we were down in London that weekend and it was the last ones that they had. Um, there was another Aldo store. So these are Aldo, by the way. There was another Aldo store up around the corner and they were sold out as well. Um, 
I've had a lot of people messaging me saying like do I know if they're coming back in stock and honestly I don't know like I bought these myself I wasn't asked to go into the store and try them on or anything like I had been eyeing these up for weeks waiting for the the collection to drop it's a whole collection there was bags there was boots there was um like slip-on shoes there was earrings there was key rings there was all sorts and the whole collection was beautiful so i happened to get the shoes i wanted in my size a few days after the collection launched they actually announced something called the aldo crew so when i was in store the sales assistant was lovely she told me and she was like if you do get these today join the aldo crew it got me 15 percent off my first purchase so i got 15 percent off them so i got them for 63.75 which i know is a naughty purchase because i'm trying to pay off disney world and i wouldn't buy something whoa why is my phone gone on to skype what on earth i'm sat here not my phone my xbox i've got gossip girl paused and it does this when I'm Twitch streaming. It just randomly opens apps up. It's just randomly opened up Skype. What are you doing, Xbox? I don't know why it's done that. Let's just turn that off before I randomly start Skyping someone. I don't even know how to use Skype. What was I talking about? Yeah, so I got 15%. Yeah, that was it. So I wouldn't buy myself them if I was going to put myself into debt or whatever. You know, I, I was down in London and I decided to treat myself. I literally bought two things while I was two things while I was in London. I'm gonna change the battery and then we're gonna carry on with the haul. This is a very long haul, but hey, it's better than no weekly vlog at all. Okay, so I've changed the battery and it says it's on full battery now, so hopefully it is. Whew, right, I'm absolutely knackered. Really, I should have just got myself ready and done a big Disney haul, but never mind. So the next thing is another box from Disney Store, but this is everything I purchased myself. So the Frozen 2 key was released last Friday at Disney Store. Uh, if you don't know what I'm about, Disney Store do keys and they theme them to different things and people like to collect them, including myself. Um, I have like seven now, I think. And you have to purchase something from that keys range. So it was a Frozen 2 key, so you had to purchase Frozen 2 items to get the key up to a value well, at least a value of £15. So you can either get them in store or this time they released 4,000 online. I think last time they only released 1,000. Um, so they released 4,000 online and I took my chance and did it online and I've checked and I've got the key. So this is just some things I bought from Disney Store because I was getting the key and I was getting some frozen things. I thought, you know what, there's been a few things that I've been eyeing up I may as well get them while I'm ordering because I actually hate paying for delivery. So if I purchase stuff up to £50 and get the things I've been eyeing up for a couple of weeks, then I'll get free delivery. And I did. So I got a couple of things. So let me show you. To get the Frozen key, you had to spend £15 on the new range. So the first thing I got was this Frozen tumbler. Hopefully you can see that. It's actually a better size than I thought. I hate it when they're really small and you can't really use them for anything. So, and it's actually really pretty. It's got a really nice lid. This was £9, which I'll be honest, it's a little bit more than I would like to pay for a tumbler and I didn't need it, but I wanted the key. <laughs> so you had to spend £15. Um, so the next thing I got, where's my scissors, was the cup from the Frozen range. It's actually, it's actually a really good size. Oh wow, that's actually really nice. Okay, I'm really happy with this. Uh, so this was £10, like I said. Uh, oh, what is that? Oh, it's a piece of cardboard. Oh, it feels... Okay, this is a nice cup. Like, I probably would have bought this cup anyway. Um, so, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like a matte, pearly white. And then the actual snowflakes have glitter all over them. It's a good size. Like, I would... Yeah, I'll get a good... Ooh, I'll get a good cup of tea out of this. And it's pearly, metallic -y blue inside. It's coming up um, lighter on camera. Uh, but anyway, so this is the cup. So this was a tenner. So like I said, I would have got this anyway. These are covered in glitter. I don't know if you can tell. I would have got this anyway. Um, I think it's really nice and it is actually a good size. Like I only really buy cups now if I know I'm going to get a good size cup of tea out of it. And I will get a good size cup of tea. So I basically got them to get the key. But really I got this to get the key because I would have got that anyway. So let me show you the key. So this is the key. Oh, it is nicer in person. I will say one thing though. This key is so squint so this key is squint if you don't know what squint means it means it's not straight and also it's got a couple of marks on it but it's fine at least i didn't have to go into store so this is the key um so it's actually kind of like a clear oh is that going to focus so hopefully that is focused but you can see that's like a clear plastic it's like glittery and then it goes along 
and then it's like clear plastic on the end as well it is not wanting to focus on the end of the key at all there we go so that is the key and it's just the same on both sides so i don't know if you can tell but it's not straight if i hold that straight that's the end like that i don't know if you can tell but it's not straight basically anyway uh, it's really nice though they've already announced the next key uh, 27th of December it is a Star Wars key I don't think they've announced the pictures yet I will not be going into store to get that one because the 27th of December at Metro Centre will be crazy with people in the sales oh my lord so hopefully it's as easy to get that online as it was to get this one I'll be getting the Star Wars key online <laughs> so I got the Christmas Mickey or Minnie plush for $12.99 also, who remembers when they used to be $7.99 or $9.99? Well, now they are $12.99 when you spend £20, which is kind of annoying because I have like three or four now. So I kind of have to stick with it. But yeah, they've definitely upped the price on them. So I got the Christmas mini because I collect the Christmas minis. And I have Christmas minis from 2017, 18 and then 19. I don't think I have 16. But anyway, if you don't know what I'm talking about, every year they bring out a Christmas Mickey and Minnie and it says on the foot, like, 2000, it says the year. So, yeah, she's lovely. I like her tights. Oh, she's nice. I think I still, th I think, I think, I think, I think last year's was a bit more glamorous. Um, but no, she's lovely. Um, it's very, like, uh, velvety. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the skirt feels a little bit cheap, but the velvety bow and that little jacket, I mean, I love the colour scheme. I think that's very, she's very pretty and she's got, like, the glitter on her tights. Um, does it look a little bit cheap? Maybe? She's definitely smaller than last year's. I don't know, this dress material feels cheap, but the velvet's fine. Um, I like the colours. Like, I like the overall effect. Like, I like the, um, a jacket doesn't sit properly. I like the bow. I do like the bow. I think the bow is really nice. It's, like, velvety green. It's nice and padded. So, she's not ter terrible, but she's not my favourite Christmas mini. Um, I just think our clothes are a little bit cheap and ill-fitting, which is a bit of a shame. And then I got myself, can you guess, three Descendants items. So, I picked up the Descendants pen. Uh, because, hello, Descendants pen. How could I not? So oh, this is a nice pen. This is a really nice pen. I think it was like six pound. Yeah, six pound. So it's it's a purple pen and then it's got Evie's kind of em em emblem. I can't say that word, emblem there. Um, it doesn't actually say Descendants on it anywhere. It is just purple with that. <sighs> I'm excited about this one. The next item I finally caved and got myself the Mal doll. I got the Maldol for Descendants 2. I missed out on the Maldol for Descendants 1. 2 is my favourite. She is perfect. <laughs> but uh, I wanted her because I was like, I I need to see the movie to see why they've added blue to our movie, uh, to our costume and hair. I think I know why. Um, I don't want to see it in case you watch this and you haven't seen it yet. And I haven't seen it yet, so it's just a theory. But I think I know why they've added blue to her. So she's very blue this time. She's purple and blue. So you can see, um, very purple and blue. I honestly can't explain the outfit. Like I said, I haven't seen the movie yet. I just know she's very blue, which is not very Maleficent. So if my theory is correct. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited to see the movie. I was looking at the Eevee doll when I was in Disney Store. Um, I would love the Eevee doll because I didn't manage to get the Eevee, the Eevee or the Uma doll from the last movie. And I really wanted the Uma doll. And this time they are 20 99 so, oh, look at Mal on the back. She's so stunning, Dove Cameron. By the way, who's listened to Dove Cameron's new music? She has two original pieces out with music videos. They are everything. And the last item that I got is more Descendants. I had to get this, obviously. I got the Descendants 3 Shopper. So, it is the medium size, I would say. Um, going to be carrying this round all the time now. I love it how it's got all four of the main girls on there as well. Like I'm really loving the whole girl dominance, um, like boss girl vibe from the Descendants movies. Like it is like the four girls, like I love it. As the day is getting on, I really need to do some work. So I'm gonna record this video that I have to get done today before it gets any later. And then I will come back on and show you the rest of the stuff. If I don't show you the rest of the stuff today, because you guys know what I get like, I will definitely show you the rest of the stuff before the end of this weekly vlog. And I think I have used all of my voice up. It is absolutely killing. So, 
I'm going to get on with recording this video now before it gets on any later. I need to do this video and then hopefully I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Hey guys, it is the next day. I am running around like a lunatic because, oh my god, the sentence starts in 10 minutes. It always starts early though when, like, I've had this in the past. I always find this start early, so it probably starts in 5 minutes. Um, wow. So I didn't get back to you yesterday. Remember I said I had a video to record yesterday and two, no, two yesterday and two a day? Anyway. Even though I felt really ill and I feel worse today, look at all that recycling. Um, I actually managed to record all of my videos yesterday. I was so chuffed. I got so much work done. Sorry, I'm trying to make a cup of tea and I've spilled milk everywhere. I've got milk all over the camera now. Right, I'm just going to point you there so I can talk to you. It's probably quite dark because the light's behind me. So anyway, yes, I managed to actually get all of my videos done yesterday. I didn't get back to you last night because honestly I was so ill. I didn't even Twitch stream. I had to cancel my Twitch stream. <laughs> I honestly don't know how I managed to do so much. I did photos for Zavi. Oh, it's dark. I did so much. And then today I have been doing Princess Rags orders and edited. Wow, the um, camera just ran out of space. Honestly, I'm running around like lunatic. This is not what I need. Anyway, I literally just came in from the post office like two minutes ago. It is 24 minutes past uh, five and descendant starts at half past. So that's me done for the day now. Like I have to work tomorrow morning, but I'm not having to do anywhere near as much as I thought I was gonna have to do, which is great. So I'm gonna have the rest of the night off. Oh my God, 11 minutes, there's a countdown, guys. Look, look, look. You see the countdown? Yes. So basically this is just my Disney Life app streaming uh, to my telly Disney Channel Live with this Chromecast. So that's how I watch Disney Channel. Um, because I don't actually have like Sky TV or anything like that. Sorry, I'm running around like lunatic. I've got 11 minutes. Bless, this girl messaged me about our Princess Rags order and she needed a skirt and jumper for a holiday, a Disney holiday on Monday. And I actually can't believe that I managed to get it done and sent out to her and I got to the post office in time so that she'll get it tomorrow. Saturday special delivery. <laughs> Man, that was rushed. Yeah, Descendants, 10 minutes. I'm so excited, I can't believe this. Descendants 3, I need to process. I ran into Home Bargains after the post office and got some throat sweets. So, right, I'm gonna stop blabbing. I don't know what I'm on about. I've been talking for a long time and I've just stuck my pajamas, I've just got the world's quickest shower and stuck my pajamas on and I am gonna sit and chill and watch Descendants. Oh my God, I can't believe it's time for Descendants 3. I'm almost sad though because I know there isn't going to be another one. Oh my god, I'm going to cry. I, like, I'm looking at it now and it's real, it's real, it's there. It's... <sighs> These movies mean so much to me. Like, I I'm so excited right now. I can't believe Descendants 3, the next chapter of the Descendants movie. Oh, I, I can't, I can't talk. I'm so excited. I'm going to cry. I know I am. I can't stand still. Look at the steer of the sofa. Right, I'm going to... I'm going to, I'm going to sit down and get ready to watch Descendants. Eight minutes. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited. Right, it's been about half an hour. The first adverts have just come on. <sighs> I wish I'd recorded my reactions. I am freaking out over here. Like, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to do a full movie review. But I honestly wish I had recorded my reactions even for the first half hour because I'm just freaking out. Like, this is what we're going to do. We're going to record my reactions because it'll be hilarious if anything. So it's about to come back on. Wish me luck. I'm honestly already I'm just like this is everything. This is everything. Oh god, there's loads of adverts. It's all like random little kids toys I've never even heard of. It's crazy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I want purple hair now. Evie's dress is everything. Dizzy looks so different. I guess she's grown up a little bit though. I was hoping you were Mal's outfit is everything. This is iconic. What? Oh yes to the pink smoke! Evie looks stunning right now. Mal looks weird. Evie's dress is fantastic. That is a shame that Mal was only in that outfit for a few minutes because it was fab and we didn't get to see it very much. They've changed dude's voice. <laughs> yes, Audrey! Interesting. <laughs> yes, Audrey! Stand behind me, Chad. That's so funny. Oh, our hair's nice. Oh, what a spell. This is actually fabulous. Pink evil smoke. This is, this is amazing. That's actually amazing. A villain with pink smoke. And she just turned happy birthday into a, an evil thing. This is epic. This is everything. This is so good. Oh my God, this is amazing. Ma looks amazing. 
Oh my god, they all look amazing. Oh, I like a backpack. Uh, I hear you. Well said. Oh, this needs to be a ride in Disneyland. I would be so happy if this was a ride. That was a weird interaction. Okay, now there's an advert. Yeah, that was a weird interaction. Um, Initial, off the bat thoughts. That song wasn't my favourite. He doesn't look like a dad. He looks like an older brother. He just doesn't seem that evil. He seems a bit too fun and kind of happy and like older brotherly, like having a joke around. And it's like, I needed him to be more evil. Like, you know, in the first one, that song she does with her mom. What's it called? The first movie when her and her mom sing together and it's, it's all about being evil like me. That song. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not saying he is a, is a complete letdown. Like his hair and his costume is actually really cool. But he, that's another thing though. His costume does make him look quite young as well. I don't know. Not quite sure on that. That's probably the first thing in the movie where I've been a bit like, hmm. Okay. There are so many toys and toy adverts. It's insane. That is insane. Oh, wrong choice of words. I'm loving this evilness. Everything's pink. Uma! Uma's outfit is everything. <laughs> I like it how Evie's gum is blue. Dude's not asleep. What's this? Is Ben a beast? I think Ben's a beast. All these colors are everything right now. I love, I'm loving the outfits and everything. Audrey is evil. Audrey's got this evil laugh down. This is getting a little weird. I need a VK crew. This is epic. I'm still kind of like, why is Mal so blue? She should be green and purple, not blue and purple. But she's bad, and we're not. But you are rotten to the core, I would hope. It's quite funny that I've forgotten his name, but he has long hair now. Why do boys always have really good hair when it's long? Just kiss him. Kiss him. Oh my god, she looks beautiful right now. Imagine if he didn't wake up. Oh, he woke up. I didn't think he was going to wake up there. Oh, it's Ben. And he's a beast. Dude's little scream there was everything. You know, my dad said that his dad did not handle pain well at all. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. That's like iconic. That's like Gaston's son and Beast's son. Oh, they're so cute and it makes me sad. Oh, Ben looks so grown up. Oh god, I'm so sad. Bobby. Cameron. I keep running out of space. I don't know if I have enough space left, to be honest. <laughs> Poor Chad. Mal from Descendants 2 was everything. Audrey's cape is everything right now. Pink and blue! Yes! Bringing Hades out into Oridon. With powers and everything. Seems a bit odd. Would they risk the entire... Of Oridon just for Audrey? Hmm. If I was Hades, I would wreak havoc right now. To be fair, she did steal our life. Oh my god, Evie's dress is amazing. I mean, that seems a little silly if you ask me. Because there's villains on that island that aren't going to be like, Oh yeah, let's all forgive each other and get on. What? They're not actually going to take down the barrier, are they? What is going on? They can't just take down the barrier. This seems like a recipe for disaster. I mean, I'm all there for it. Oh my god, yes! Harry, Hook and Audrey. Typical the battery died, but that part with Hades and Ben was so funny. Aww. Don't cry. What is this? It's gonna make me cry. He was a really good dancer. He was taken way too soon. Oh! That was one emotional roller coaster. Okay, so I've muted it. I've just watched the end. Wow! How to sum up how I feel right now. Um, I am going to do like a proper movie review. So I won't say too much. Whew. Initial thoughts right off the bat. It's just everything, isn't it? Like, oh my God. It was, it was really, really, really good. It was so good to see a new storyline. Proper review of what I loved and maybe a few things that I didn't love. But honestly, as a whole, just to see a new Descendants movie, I am so happy right now i'm pretty sure it's back on in the morning so i'm gonna watch it again in the morning and um, matthew really wanted to see it tonight but he's out so he'll want to watch it in the morning as well so i'm gonna watch it again in the morning that's how much i loved it yes there was things that maybe i didn't like as much wow 
just wow and that bit for Cameron at the end was just so emotional and at the beginning as well they mentioned him um yeah overall really really enjoyed that but I'm gonna do a full review so I'm gonna make some dinner because I'm starving and I'll probably just catch up with you guys tomorrow and we're probably watching that again let's be honest oh man I feel utterly rubbish good morning everyone as you can hear I am worse what day is it Saturday I think every day since Tuesday I've just gotten gradually worse my throat is on fire so good morning it is Saturday so me and Matthew wanted to watch Descendants this morning uh, it was on at half nine and then it's on again tonight at quarter past eight but we both woke up well Matthew woke up before me but I woke up at about 11 o'clock so I'm obviously just not very well because sleeping until 11 is not good I suppose I needed it and it's Saturday it's fine uh, Matthew made me pancakes in bed and I've just cut his hair and we're just having a really slow morning because I am not well. I'm going to show you what I bought in Primark while Matthew's in the shower. We're going to go to Metro Centre and we're going to see Joker at five o'clock. And then after Joker, Matthew's got his work night out and it's through that way. So I'm going to drop him off and then I'm going to come home. <laughs> I was running around like a lunatic trying to get ready before the sentence last night and this is what I pulled out. It's also Matthew's Christmas PJ top, which is hilarious. I don't know what I'm on about. Oh yeah, we're finally getting to see Joker. I'm so excited. It came out last Friday and me and Matthew were getting ready to go down to London and then I just haven't had a chance since. So very much looking forward to seeing that. Primark, so the first thing I bought, which I've been after a while, was this jumper. I know I'm gonna get loads of use out of this. It feels really nice. I haven't actually tried it on, but I assume it's the right size. So it's a Mickey, big chunky knit. Uh, it was £16 and I got the small, which was a 10 to 12. So yeah, it's kind of like white with rainbow little fleck dots all over it and then three embroidery Mickeys. So I've been dying to get that. So I got that. The next thing is something I haven't seen anyone else talk about on Instagram. So I really need to get up some pictures of this because I think this is amazing. But it is basically a Mickey throw. So like a, a rug. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this very well at all. But if I kind of go like that, you can see it's... It's a Mickey rug, so there's the ears, and it's fluffy and black, so it's kind of still stitched on, but basically it is a Mickey floor throw, and it's £12, and when I seen that I was just like, I need that, that is amazing. Uh, the next thing was this, one of my Disney fam, I believe Gemma, put it in our group chat on WhatsApp, and I was like, I need it. I don't need another passport cover, but I need it, and it is a burn book passport cover, I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually really sparkly and pretty. My sister got one as well. We both seen it and we were like, yes. So that was four pound. Really like the whole Perspex trend at the minute. And I picked up some Public Desire ones, um, shoes a couple of weeks ago, if you watched that fashion haul. But I wanted some slightly more D ones and lower ones. And of course, eventually Primark does come through with its own version of everything. So they had these ones and they were also in black. So they have like a Perspex there and there and then just a low heel and there was nude or black and I picked up the nude I really like them and they were only £12 and online they're like £29.99 for a really similar thing oh my throat it's on fire and um, my throat always goes first does anybody else that have uh, has chronic fatigue syndrome is it always your throat that goes first like I think I've just run down like I think I've had a lot on recently and I honestly think I've just run myself down okay so these shoes are absolutely stunning and I've been after them for a while but honestly I think I knew this even from looking at them in fact yes I did know this so basically I can't wear shoes like this no let me put that another way the only flat shoes I can wear are trainers if they are like structured kind of flat shoes they will destroy the back of my heels I have never been able to wear dolly shoes I've never been able to wear any type of flat shoes unless the trainers like seriously if you see me in flat shoes they are trainers like converse like trainers like my disneyland trainers that way all the time even if they are completely soft and comfortable to you will destroy the back of my heat their uh, feet trust me i have tried for years i remember i bought a pair of pointed lace up like dolly ballerina shoes from river island me and matthew left the hotel if, if you've been following this long it's on a vlog years ago we left the hotel, we walked to the underground and the back of my foot was pouring of blood and I had to go to an event. I was, I, and I was annoyed at myself as well because I know, I know I can't wear these. But these are my favourite type of Disney clothing right now. Grown up at Disney. They are so chic and just like, I mean, they are 
fabulous. Also, yes, they are pretty much exactly the same as what Aldo has brought out. No hate, but Aldo has brought out the same shoes for £65 and you can go and get them for a tenner in Primark. Who knows though, maybe the Aldo ones would hurt my feet less if it's a nicer material, but honestly, any shoes like this just hurt my feet. I got these in a six. Um, they've got like a mirrored silver heel, like Diamantes, and then the Mickey. Oh, I wish these wouldn't hurt my feet, but I literally put them on and the back of my foot was on fire, literally stood in them. The back of my foot was like, no. I don't know what it is about my feet, but I can't wear flats unless they are trainers. But I picked them up because I was like, I want them to work, but I think these are gonna have to go back. So these are the one of the things I think are gonna have to go back. And the last thing I bought, which I'm pretty sure will have to go back, unfortunately, but only because I couldn't, if you watch my Instagram stories, you'll have seen. But basically this coat is to die for. I'm obsessed with it. And there was a size four or a size 20. So I like everything oversized. So I bought the 20, but it's a little too oversized. Yeah, I picked up a 20, it was 30 pound. It is this stunning coat. This doesn't even really do it justice. Um, a lot of people as well were like, oh, I don't really know how I feel about it. And I was like, honestly, in person, it is beautiful and oversized, it looks so cool. I'm really getting into my neutral tones lately, aren't I? But anyway, I absolutely adore it, but you can see the shoulders are extremely structured and I think it's just a little too big. So I'm gonna try and swap it today. If you're thinking, Sarah, I seen you in loafers in London in like when you went away with national holidays. I bought backless loafers from River Island because I was like, smart shoes with no backs on. I can wear smart shoes and they don't have to be like flat and they're not trainers and they can't possibly hurt the back of my feet. Well, they destroyed the front of my feet instead and my pinkies on both feet were bleeding. I cannot wear flat smart shoes. So I can't even return them because I've worn them loads, but they destroyed my feet and they, cost, they only cost 35. Or if I do wear them, I'll have to wear them with loads of plasters, so. I can't wear flat shoes unless the trainers, it's ridiculous. My feet are weird. Ignore the fact that I haven't unpacked from London and there's like clothes hanging in places, but this is the coat. Um, as you can see, it's just, I mean, I'm all for 90s pads, but the shoulders out here, my actual shoulders are there. So there's like that much difference. This pattern is insane. I don't know if you can like tell. Look at that, like that's all squishy pattern. It's insane. My shoulders like there. So anyway, it's just, it's great, but it's just a little too, big too big so if i can swap it for like a 16 or a 14 i will um it's such a nice color in person it's coming across very different on camera anyway i just thought i'd show you this but this is it so i'm gonna hopefully swap it for a small size i think it's fab i think it's great um but anyway yeah i'm gonna get ready now <laughs> It's actually Monday. This weekly vlog has not been a weekly vlog. It has been a massive haul and then me watching Descendant. I am very ill. I don't know what is wrong. I think I'm run down from working a lot. I don't know. So as you'll have seen, I did not record anything um, apart from being outside Odeon when we were at Metro Centre. Honestly, by the time I got ready, we got to Metro Centre and we barely had 40 minutes till the movie started and the movie wasn't on till five. I did not feel good on Saturday. I didn't feel good yesterday and I still don't feel good. I went to Primark and couldn't get the coat in a smaller size, so I had to return it. I ended up returning the little Mickey flats in the end because I was like, I'm not gonna get any use out of them. They're beautiful, but my favorite teddy coat in Primark that I bought last year in brown, the one that I wore a lot last year, if you were following me then, and the one that I wore on Boxing Day in Paris, if you watched that vlog. In fact, I think I showed you it a couple of weeks ago in a weekly vlog. They brought it out in a new kind of off grey colour. When I was in on Saturday, they also had it in pink and blue. I was like, what are the chances? It's not a great shade of blue, but I need this pink teddy coat. My brown coat is a size 20 and they only had 8s, 10s and 12s. So, yeah, I just wasn't very well. Just didn't feel good at all. Uh, we went and we queued and I got a drink for the movie. And um, we went in and seen Joker. It's quite a dark, intense movie. Um, if you've seen it, you'll know what I mean. I knew there was a lot of negativity around this movie with regards to mental health. Like, it's very dark. I didn't expect it to be that dark. Like, it's crazy dark. Um, nevertheless, personally, I absolutely 
loved it. I thought it was great, uh, especially the end. Oh God, it's just everything. Well, maybe I'll talk about it a little bit. So if you haven't seen Joker yet, skip forward. I might say a couple, well, I am gonna say a couple of spoilers. The way they tied in Bruce with the Joker was epic. Like, so you can already see why Bruce kind of hates the Joker. You know, he started that riot, the Joker, and Bruce's parents were killed because of that riot. Someone wearing a Joker mask. He played Arthur so, so good, so well. Absolutely stunning, just perfect performance. Honestly, it was a crazy movie. It's a crazy good movie. Personally, I think it's great that there is a movie out there really just shedding light on mental health. It just shows how far it can go. And I personally think that needs talked about a little bit more. Um, so that's probably why I'm not going to do a full review because I think it could get very dark. Um, so that's all I'll say about it. But anyway, I personally thought it was great. I thought it was a really good movie. I thought it was really well done. I thought it was respectful of mental health. Everybody's mental health path is different. And I honestly just felt like it was... I just thought it was amazing. I thought the... You know, they chose a very good actor to do it. I mean, unfortunately, he's such a good actor to be able to do that role because he's had unfortunate life events in his own life. So he could probably like relate to it and really get into the character, which is a shame, but yeah. It's a complicated one to talk about. That's why I'm not gonna do a full movie review. But anyway, personally, I thought the Joker was absolutely amazing. Like it really tests your mind. Like it really pulls it. Like it's very, like you're gonna come out of that movie in a weird way, you know? It's not a happy movie. It's just really well done. And personally, I love the Joker and to see another actor's take on him, I just thought he did it so well. Honestly, we did nothing yesterday. I had to cancel a Twitch stream again and I just lay on the sofa all day. It's just not well. I don't know what's wrong with me. Honestly, last night, me and Matthew watched Descendants again. I'm gonna watch it again tonight. Uh, it's on Disney Channel like pretty much every day this week or at least it has been the last couple of days it's been on twice over the weekend every day so if you haven't seen it yet disney channel it is on i think every night this week i know it's on tonight i have something really cool coming up this week it's hard to explain and i don't want to explain it yet and you'll see why next week but honestly come back next week to the weekly vlog because it's gonna be a funny one i am gonna do a descendants review as soon as i feel better because i really want to talk about it but right now my throat's just killing thinking about everything i have to do this week with how i feel right now i'm not gonna lie it's a bit of a worry and i have a lot of work to do today like i've been up really early what time is it it's one o'clock nearly and i've been up since quite early this morning editing i would love to just stay in bed all this week but i have so much to do and it's all really fun stuff so yeah Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I hope you enjoyed this whole weekly vlog and I will see you in my next one. And hopefully it should be a bit more of a weekly vlog because I'm actually out and about doing things. Regardless of whether I'm ill, I'm going to have to do them. You'll see what I mean next week. And yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.